Six ways to cook your vegetables, which one is the best for you? Cooking your own food can be a great way to ensure that you get the most nutritional benefits out of your meals. There are many different methods of cooking, each with its own unique advantages and disadvantages. In this blog post, we'll explore 13 different methods of cooking and nutrition and discuss which one may be the best for you and your needs. We'll look at everything from boiling and steaming to frying and sauteing, so keep reading to find out which cooking method is right for you. 1. Deep Frying Deep frying is a cooking method that involves submerging food in hot oil or fat. This method is popularly used for a variety of dishes such as french fries, fried chicken, and donuts. The technique uses high heat to create a crisp exterior and seal the food's juices inside. When it comes to vitamins and minerals, deep frying tends to preserve some while reducing others. For example, vitamins A, E, and C are retained during deep frying as they are fat-soluble. Meanwhile, water-soluble vitamins such as B vitamins and vitamin C are reduced in content due to the high temperatures. Minerals such as potassium and sodium are also reduced when exposed to the hot oil. However, despite being an effective cooking method, deep frying can be detrimental to your health if consumed too often. The oils used for deep frying are usually high in saturated fats, which have been linked to higher cholesterol levels and increased risk of cardiovascular diseases. Additionally, because of its high cooking temperature, the oils used for deep frying can produce substances that are harmful to your health, such as acrylamide. Acrylamide is a known carcinogen that has been linked to an increased risk of cancer. In any case, it doesn't seem that there is any substantial change in protein, mineral, or fiber content. Some studies have shown that there is slightly more fiber content in fried potatoes than raw potatoes. Overall, while deep frying is a popular cooking technique, it should be consumed in moderation due to its negative health effects. For those looking to maintain their health while still enjoying deep-fried food, one option is to use healthier oils such as canola or extra virgin olive oil. 2. Roasting Roasting is one of the most popular methods of cooking and nutrition. It involves exposing food to dry heat, typically in an oven or over a flame. This method of cooking intensifies flavors, tenderizes proteins, and produces a slightly crisp texture on the outside. It is also a great way to bring out the natural sugars in vegetables and other plant-based foods. When food is roasted, certain vitamins and minerals are preserved. For example, some vitamins like vitamin A, vitamin E, and folic acid are retained during roasting. Minerals like calcium and magnesium are also not affected by roasting. However, roasting can reduce the amount of certain vitamins that are sensitive to heat. Vitamins like vitamin C, thiamine, and riboflavin are reduced when heated. Roasting can also produce compounds called advanced glycation end products, ages, which can be harmful to your health. Overall, a roasting is not a bad cooking method for nutrition if done properly. However, too much roasting can cause the reduction of beneficial vitamins and minerals, as well as the production of potentially harmful compounds. To reduce these risks, it is best to avoid over-roasting foods and to pair roasted foods with other nutritious ingredients. 3. Blanching Blanching is a cooking method that involves boiling food for a short period of time and then plunging it into cold water. This process is often used to soften vegetables, fruits, and nuts, as well as to prepare them for further cooking methods. It is also used to enhance the flavor, color, and texture of certain foods. When blanching, some vitamins and minerals remain in the food while others may be lost. The vitamins and minerals that are preserved during blanching include vitamin C, folic acid, thiamine, and riboflavin. These vitamins can help to improve overall health and maintain a balanced diet. On the other hand, vitamin B6, carotenoids, potassium, magnesium, and iron may be reduced during blanching. Overall, blanching is a good method of cooking that helps to preserve some essential vitamins and minerals while enhancing the flavor and texture of food. It is important to note that any vitamins or minerals lost during blanching can easily be replaced through other healthy eating habits. 4. Stir-frying Stir-frying is one of the most popular methods of cooking and nutrition. It involves quickly cooking small pieces of food in a hot pan or wok with a small amount of oil. This method of cooking preserves vitamins and minerals in the food while also creating delicious dishes. When stir-frying, vitamins A, C, and E are generally preserved. Other important minerals that are preserved during stir-frying include calcium, iron, and potassium. Unfortunately, this method of cooking can reduce some vitamins and minerals in the food. Vitamin B6, folic acid, and thiamine can all be reduced through stir-frying. Vitamin B6 helps the body metabolize protein and fats, folic acid helps form red blood cells, and thiamine helps turn carbohydrates into energy. In conclusion, stir-frying is another great method for preserving certain vitamins and minerals in food while also creating flavorful dishes. However, it is important to be aware that some vitamins and minerals may be reduced. Therefore, if you want to ensure that you get the full benefits of the food you are eating, it is best to combine different cooking methods such as boiling and steaming with stir-frying. 5. Boiling 
Boiling is one of the healthiest methods of cooking and nutrition. It involves heating food in water until it reaches a temperature high enough for the water to bubble and break into steam. Boiling is an effective way to preserve vitamins and minerals, since it does not require any added fats or oils. When boiled, many vitamins such as vitamins A, C, and K are preserved. The minerals calcium and iron are also kept intact during boiling. Boiling also breaks down complex molecules, making it easier for the body to digest and absorb nutrients. However, boiling can cause some vitamins and minerals to be lost due to leaching into the boiling water. Vitamin B1, B6, and folate can all be reduced during boiling. Additionally, some plant compounds that have health benefits can be lost through boiling. In general, boiling is considered a healthy cooking method as it is easy to use and helps preserve certain vitamins and minerals. However, it is important to keep in mind that some vitamins and minerals may be lost during the process. It is best to consume a variety of cooking methods in order to ensure that you are getting all the necessary vitamins and minerals for optimal health. 6. Steaming Steaming is a method of cooking food by using the steam from boiling water. The food is placed in a steamer basket above boiling water, which produces the steam that cooks the food. This type of cooking preserves many of the vitamins and minerals found in food, making it the most healthiest cooking method. Researchers found steaming kept the highest level of nutrients. The vitamins and minerals that are preserved during steaming include vitamin C, carotenoids, thiamine, and folate. These nutrients are essential for healthy bones, organs, skin, and overall health. Some vitamins and minerals can be reduced during steaming. For example, vitamin B1 can be reduced depending on the time and temperature of cooking. Additionally, some minerals such as magnesium, iron, and zinc can be lost when exposed to steam for an extended period of time. Although steaming is a healthy and nutritious way to cook food, it is not necessarily the best method for every type of food. For example, steaming may not be ideal for certain vegetables as they may become soggy or lose flavor. Additionally, some nutrients may be lost when steaming food for too long. Steaming can be in steamer baskets, microwave, and papillote and steam ovens. When it comes to cooking methods, there is no one-size-fits-all approach. What is best for you depends on your health goals and dietary preferences. That said, some cooking methods are more nutritionally sound than others. Boiling and steaming are the most recommended cooking methods for preserving the nutritional value of food while deep frying should be avoided as much as possible. While the occasional treat can still be enjoyed when cooked this way, overall it is best to focus on eating more boiled and steamed food to ensure a nutritious diet. Please don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it. See you next time.